there are some people who really care about having friends. They like to be liked. And there is nothing wrong with that. But when you begin to follow God, less people are going to like you. Less people Not too many people are going to like being around you. So that is something to expect and that is something to get used to. Everyone is not going to like what you say, even if what you say is of God. So this is something that you have to prepare yourself for. Everyone is not going to like you. Everyone is not going to like what you say and what is going to happen. You are going to get persecuted by people. This is something that you have to get used to. I know people, maybe back when they were kids, their mother or father, cousin, so on and so on, may have not shown them any attention or any love and stuff like that. So now that they are older now, they are seeking for that lost love or affection that they did not receive back when they were a kid. You should only be seeking love and affection from God. Now, there is nothing wrong with having a friend and whatever else. There is nothing wrong with that. But when you solely depend on people to give you the love that you have missed out on, that is dangerous. Then what you are going to do, you are going to do bad things if you have to, to receive that love or you may even compromise to receive that love and attention that you have not been receiving that is dangerous that is dangerous myself I like to be loved I like to be cared for but I am not at the point where <laughs> hey I will kill for you and stuff like, no, I will do sins just for you to show me attention. That is not going to happen. You are not going to be liked as much when you begin to live for God. And you are going to find out too, the people who call themselves Christian, not all of them, but a percentage of them, you are going to find out that their life does not match up with how a Christian should be. I am not saying that a Christian life is a life of isolation. That is not completely true. But you are not going to be liked by many. If you see a person... that that is liked by so many people like everybody loves this person that should tell you something now of course there are preachers and pastors that are really good and they are loved by some of those people or by the people that they teach but what I am saying as a whole, if you see a person that is loved by like so many people, that should tell you that, hey, something is up. Because as a Christian, not too many people, if you are really an effective Christian, a real Christian, I should say a Christian, but so many people, <clears throat> 
are calling themselves Christian. But if you are really a real, effective, real Christian, not too many people are going to like you. Not too many people will want to hear from you. Especially the ones that calls themselves Christian. Does this make any sense? So I am not saying to prepare for a life of isolation because that is not really true, but if you are used to getting pats on the back or people praising you every 20 seconds and stuff like that, when you begin to live for God, that is not going to happen. Even now, when people say to me, you know, Kevin, you are doing a good job and stuff like that. Now, I hear the people say that or I see what they write and stuff like that. But it is not going to my head because I know and I am not saying that everyone that says that to me is going to do something wrong. But what I am saying, the same people not all, not all, not all, but some of the people that are saying great things about you, they are going to be some of the ones that are going to be stabbing you right in the back as well. So don't let things get in your head or get to your head, meaning make yourself prideful or conceited like hey so many people are saying that I am doing a good job or what I am saying is true and so on and so on don't let that stuff get to your head know why know why you are doing something don't know this is why I tell people hey all honor and praise goes to God not me because by myself I am not able to do anything. To be quite honest, I should have died back when I was like 14 or 12 or something like that by far. Then if not then, I should have died when I was like 20 something, you know? If not then, I should have died at another age. <laughs> Man, I would have to say I don't know, but there have been countless times where I should have died by far. Car accidents or potential car accidents and other things as well. So my main point, if people start to talk to you crazy when you are serving God, that is normal. Of course, pray about it, but it is not out of the ordinary for people to come and attack you with their words or whatever else when you are truly serving God. This is why it is good to get pats on the back and stuff like that, but don't get to the point where a person's words can change the way that you feel, if that makes any sense. Now, it is good for people to say good things about you, but don't, every time when a person disagrees with you or say bad things about you, don't get to the point where it brings you down. I pray that makes sense there. Expect persecution, whether from demons or from demons within people. <laughs> so I pray that this makes sense. God bless.